Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Phantom Doctrine. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as uh, we explore the unknown. So we're, we don't need to go over there. Um, we need to go over here, and uh, we can't do it in this turn. Unfortunately, I also don't know what we'll be able to do in the turn after that. So... So there's that. And also there's somebody over here that needs to be shot. How does... How can I do that? Oh, there you are. So glad to see you. Hi. Hello. You have a very exposed head. I... Di I'm sorry. I didn't... I didn't mean... I didn't need to do a headshot the second time around. Or any time, for that matter. Uh, that was just uh, thoroughly bad. Thinking about you. Mm, well, you've been thinking about me since last episode, haven't you? Off, eh? you, you shut up. Yeah. Okay, so you go over here. I'm just going to have a lot of people in here. Because I can. And I think... What's up, motherfucker? Uh, I think, basically, we're good to see what comes after. I'm not doing overwatches because I don't believe there's any enemy l enemies... Any enemies left, even though I probably shouldn't assume that because that feels like a very bad assumption. But my problem is I don't know where we're going next because there's so much of the map that is locked. This is locked. Oh, that could be a way to get in there. Huh, that makes some sense. This is an easy mission. This would have been an easy mission. Don't move, I'm your friend. It would have been an easy mission if I had screwed it up. Also, what is that thing at the bottom? Is that mineral oil for cooling? I'm not sure if it works like that. I'm not sure if they had it in the 80s. There we go. Power is out. Cardinal, let me know if this helped with the comms. You got it. Watch out. Sabotaging the generator is bound to attract Valhalla's attention. Attention, we've got intruders on the premises. Kill them. No. Don't kill them. They are nice. The intruders are. Also, the door opened. Hello. Now's the time for me to overwatch around here. Uh, so we're supposed to go in there. Uh, let's do this. Not ideal. Okay, <laughs> and they're getting out of here. What do you require? Uh, it's not much. Just uh, let's go over there. You're gonna wait a little bit, cause I can't go in there easily. Which means, oh, this is actually good news. Can't get enough of me, can ya? I, well, uh, I have about had enough of you, to be honest. No. What? Why was that so close? <laughs> Why was that so? Okay, so you are gonna take a shot, but if you take a shot, then that loses all of your all of your things. You can't do it. Oh, well, I guess I'm shooting you. Can't do an Overwatch with a heavy machine gun, which is fine. I was just thinking about you. Bet you weren't. What's up, motherfucker? And then you can do an Overwatch with this. Which is gonna help. Right there. And I think we're good. Now, I don't know if there's any more of them in there. Of course. And I certainly hope there's nobody else left around over here. And I still don't have anything to loot, so it is a... Oh, no Overwatch. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. That sort of sucks. Please don't kill her. You don't have a second attack, do you? Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Oh, no. Damage bonus on injury. Okay. The good thing is they're all clustered. That's the villains. They're all also all clustered around the, the photocopier. What's the name of that thing? The printer? Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, Kodiak is in good condition for her to be healed. We shouldn't have a problem. 
And we have a few really, really tough cookies in there uh, that we're going to need to bring down. So hopefully one of these has the lobber thingy. Not that I need it because Vampire can do it. Uh, what's our objective right now? Because it's right there. Meanwhile, all the civilians are taking forever. Our objective is to reach the control room. Project Just that. Iceberg was our chance to end the Cold War without further bloodshed. You've left me no other choice. Valhalla out. Interesting. Shit. The old mouse nukes. He's going to drop them on Moscow and DC. We need to take him out and abort the launch. <laughs> okay, I take it down. I take it. I take it back. It's not interesting. Um, I mean, it is from a storytelling perspective, I suppose. It's interesting that he said um, that was the last chance we had to end the Cold War some damage. With, uh, without bloodshed. And naturally, we know that the Cold War ended without bloodshed. Um, <clears throat> I mean, insofar as there... Well, it's... it's it, oh, no. Oh, that is a terrible decision that I have made. Uh, Kodiak, do you have a healing? You do. Okay. Uh, let's just get Vampire in there and Kodiak can, can heal. Vampire can't go in there? God dang it. Okay, you can heal Kodiak then. Go for it. Um, so, like, the 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 pretense here for, for why we're doing this is, uh, mm -hmm. is very blatantly... Why can't you... Oh, of course you can't go in there. There's no space between them. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I need to kill you. That wasn't the person that I killed that said soldier down, hopefully. Otherwise, spooks. Okay. And we can take cover. So our objective is to kill Valhalla. Ho! Oh, really? Ooh, okay. Well, that's a... Uh... That's an interesting turn of events. Hmm. Okay, well, we know where to go. Vampire can even take a shot. Oh, we, we, we should we should take a shot. Uh, that guy is not going to die. Hmm. And he has a closer bomb. That would work very well for Valhalla. Well, I, I think it would. Um, so a little bit of saves coming here because of a very simple thing. Well, it's not not really a downside to me doing this, to be honest. Can I? Would Would you let me? There you go. For a brief moment, we could see through the fog of war. Oh, that was a target yep. eliminated. I repeat, Valhalla is dead. Grab the almost coach from him and stop that launch. I think I might. Oh. I was gonna say, I think I might have destroyed the launch codes. But. Maybe I haven't. Okay, let's shut down the satellite. We shut down half of it. Which normally would just stop it. Me. But uh, we're gonna take forever with Warren. Oh, that is a mixture of all the things. We're going to be shot. We're going to be shot. They're going to come in through here. A lovely place. Got a big dragon back there. I think I know what dragon that is. That is not an Eastern Asia type dragon. That was a mine. Wait. Who the heck is that person? Oh no. Well, ugh, well, we still have room to go. A vampire can move in. I don't feel like this is a good idea. The 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 idea of having everybody in this room, which is the one I'm following. Kill the traitor. Oh yeah. Fuck, it's the fucking boss. Okay, so that's an optional objective. Uh, fuck, it's the fucking boss. 
So many fucks. No, I'm an idiot. Why do I do things like that? Thank you. Please stop. Bye. Okay, they're an idiot. They're idiots. Oh, hi. There's a lot of yous. Oh, there's also an agent. Please tell me you're not control phrased. No, that's just a cyclone. I... That's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Okay, so this guy needs to die. And then I will need to move over there. Let's see how this works. Because things are not looking too good. Uh, so I'm gonna need to do this to you. So that works. Fantastic. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I... It barely... That's not how it works, but... That, that, it did. It did work. And also, these doors are all open, which is weird. But we are gonna be able to, be able to do it. So, you, sir, please don't do... What the heck? There's another one. Uh, well. So, I'm gonna bet that this guy... No, he has a shotgun. There's no bets here. All bets are off. What's needed? Kodiak, please get line of sight. Kodiak is line of sight. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I, I can do that then. Uh, Yeah, so, you're gonna kill him. That's a single shot. 25,600 experience. I was just thinking about you. You need to shut up. You think of nothing. Hi. Broccoli over here. Broccoli can go. No, he can't because he's very slow. Uh, so where are you going? Okay, it doesn't matter because I can get Broccoli out of the way if I need to, which I probably will. And I'm trying to do these. Entering the codes now. Keep your fingers crossed. As soon as you're done, get the hell out of there. That's the plan. Because of the radiation thingy. Okay. Evacuate the team. Ooh. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, so we have a couple of these guys over here, so they're they're gonna need a little bit of in an incentive to to die. That's like the name of a movie. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> They really thought this thing poorly. Oh no. They thought it a little bit better than I thought. Okay. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, I can, I can do some serious nice things. Uh, how about that guy? Yeah, you're gonna need a little bit of shot to the face. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, 6,400 experience. And then this thing doesn't do enough damage. No, it does. This thing absolutely does enough damage. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Because for some reason, that is freaking. <laughs> that's a, is that an AWP? What did I? What was that? What I used? Uh, I don't know actually. Uh, okay, so she's gonna be shot at again. She should be able to dodge, uh, so I don't think I'll have a problem. Let's see how that works. By the time he's done adjusting himself... Don't you dare try to shoot me again. Okay, then you... Yeah, you're gonna be a big, big problem. So that's 75 damage. Pretty good. Okay, I can kill him. Huh. I better be able to kill him. I don't know, though. It doesn't look good. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so we're we're basically evacuing. Where are we going? Oh, we're calling for evac? I'm sure. Away. Yeah, absolutely. We have enough time to get here. Way too much time, in fact. Just keep some of that Overwatch at the ready. There we go. Just don't make sure you don't buy loot boxes. Get it? Because of it's a stupid joke. I mean, it's not. It's a good joke. It's a good joke. Why can't you do that? Oh, because that's not how. Yeah, right. Okay. Sorry. Forgot. It actually that would be a nice thing to just default to a a, 
a normal Overwatch. Broccoli's gonna be shot. He does. He does have full cover, but that's not. Was that a miss? I think that was a miss. Lovely place. And oh, that's. Well, that's him. And this is not even a like a an office. I thought it was gonna be an office, a nice place or something. Nope, that's the office right there, with. I don't know the name of that projection over there of the northern hemisphere. I guess that's a pretty bad projection, considering that you want to have. Here. You did, the task force is on its way. That's great to hear. Good luck. <laughs> You'll need it more. I hope I don't. Really hope I don't. Like you don't even know how much I hope I don't. Um, okay, reloading this only takes one movement point, also the first time I have ever reloaded. I saw that, I saw that, and also I don't need to kill him or to headshot. Good, really good, really good. Man, I can't believe this actually went this smoothly. Missed me. Because it did go pretty smoothly. Then you are slow, but you, no, actually fast. And then we got some overwatches over here. Let me just aim over there. Because that's a good enough thing for me to mostly be... Mostly be certain that uh, they're going to do the 360 degrees overwatch. So I don't know if they're coming from above... Normally, I'd expect them to, because coming in from there or something and just spawn and then can try to join me over here. That would be a smart decision. Especially because they can probably just throw some grenades on there and do some serious damage. Although, not in this game. I don't think they have line of sight. They wouldn't be able to do the grenade business. And maybe even in real life, that'd be pretty tricky. In fact, I don't think grenade... Well, I, I don't know. Depends on the size of those things. But th these things can be too big, otherwise you just you'd trip on them all the time. That'd be awful. It'd be like, oh, I'm going home. And then, swunk, you get your uh, your shoe in through the holes on the floor. That's just, hey. it's not good. I tell you. I like it when you whisper in my ear. I didn't do that. Okay. Kodiak being super fast, in fact. Hey. They do have guns. How perceptive of you. Okay, you need to shut up. And then we have VVAC vehicle. Not in this turn. I thought he was going to be in this next turn. Because it'd be nice. It's right as we arrive. But it is not. I don't think there's going to be any uh, any uh, enemies. Although, I did see that ghost that showed up over there. Did you see that? That wasn't a ghost, obviously. But it was, it was ghostly. Fuck! Get out of here! We're trying to get out! I'm not even gonna do that. Yeah, I think there was somebody over here running and being panicked and upset. It's really weird that they do that. They should just hold still in a single place. Look at them. It's like they're coming after me, but only be staying at a distance what and being it? like... Okay, I thought they were, we were gonna get cutscene for the evac arrival. No one saw the fireworks when Alma station burned. Their eyes were set on the invasion of Grenada. Still, Project Iceberg was no longer a threat. We won. And no one will ever know. Eventually, communism crumbled. Just as Valhalla planned. Just like he never died at all. That troubled us. Who is keeping his dreams alive? What did we miss? What if someone else had been pulling Valhalla strings all along? There's plenty of places for that to have happened. Considering... We didn't complete a lot of secondary objectives for some reason. Considering that there was so many different ways the the characters we just kept get, getting 
the uh, tiny little bits of, uh, of information every once in a while, and a lot of it coming from specifically the uh, voice communication, not so much from the, uh, from the files. I wonder what that does. I wonder what that does. You have unlocked a new hero background and extended playthrough. That's the one. Yes. Uh, I know what that, you know, I, I knew that was going to do that. Step into the boots of an Israeli Nazi hunter and discover the deep context of Beholder Initiative plots in this enhanced version of the story. That sounds like a fun time. Um, but, yeah, the, the thing is, how would that really work? Be because we didn't have access to this one. So the game is made for that to do. Play more in-depth version of the story itself to get to the bottom of things. It's a really weird decision, isn't it? That they didn't do that. And, uh, and then I have Iron Man mode. Which is uh, actually something I would like to do that. I can do that. And now I know what to do. Well, it's going to be tricky, but yeah. And also difficulty. Eh, not being able to drag... Hiccup, I'm sorry. Uh, not being able to drag the corpses of non-agents. Um, That's the only real disadvantage of this mode. Body disposal unavailable. Because you can still dispose of... Well, drag around the bodies of, of agents. Uh, so that's the hardest bit. And it, honestly, once you understand the game, you can do that easily enough without without that. So the hard difficulty is absolutely... I think it's well balanced. What I was saying last episode about just... It's a game that can forgive you for your mistakes five times in a row. And then on the sixth mistake that you make, uh, and it, it will bite you and it'll, it'll uh, compromise your mission and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's very difficult for it not to be like that. It has to be like that. So it's random if you do a mistake. I thought it was it was kind of um, kind of a bad thing. In hindsight, it wasn't really, but it was kind of a bad thing that I uh, screwed it up on that one mistake where I just went, used all of my movement points to get to the that little ledge uh, that we had when we looked down below and got detected immediately. Yeah, um, I think that that's. I think actually, I don't know. Do we get? Temporary detection, because that would be really cool. Like uh, having having instead of an uh, instead of um, the the enemy detecting you immediately, having an inter oh, and completely changing the nature of a mission, um, having an intermediary mode, like where the because usually that happens, and and I'm I I started saying this thinking of something like where they're oh they're looking for you no that I don't think that would make sense I think it would make sense if they were actively trying to shoot you or doing something for a single turn where only the people who detected you actually are on aggro mode and everybody else isn't with some excep exceptions here and there and they could add a little bit to the depth of gameplay I feel um, no no do away with that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting game because I like the mixture of XCOM mechanics, uh, with just the very, uh, non-randomized combat. There's randomized in other areas, which is where it should be, uh, but it's, it's called the Terministic Combat System, which I adore, but I do, I do think that their previous attempt, the, uh, their previous game, the Hard West, is a better game. It's a lot of fun as well, so you definitely should check it out, Hard West, uh, if you haven't already. I think it is, uh, it should be very cheap, because uh, unfortunately the studio has this bandit. I think the uh, part of the group has gone on to make, continue making games, hopefully so. Uh, I need to read about them now, but uh, I think that, yeah, that's that's the that's the Let's Play. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. <laughs> I, wasn't, I, I, I wasn't expecting the end of the Let's Play. But it is. It's the end of the, le the Let's Play. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry it took me this long to get here. Because there was a bit in the middle where like 30 episodes of me just having fun <laughs> doing missions. Uh, because I didn't do that one objective. Maybe not 30 episodes, but a few. At least 10. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I'm not better at this. I had a lot of fun. So... Yeah, that's that's part of the reason why I'm not better at this. I just, you know, I have a lot of fun nonetheless. Uh, so thank you so much once again. And I'll see you next episode. No, wait. Next Let's Play? That's how it works. Because of the, you know, being the ending and all that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>